1976, uh, this lumberjack looking dude with a big grin showed up at our Mendocino offices looking for a job. He said his name was Mike Wolf. Uh, he was from Manhattan, New York, if you can believe it. And he wanted to go to work in the vineyards. He didn't know anything about vineyards. He said he'd been working in the forest. Now he told me that, that he literally, when he started in this business, that he literally slept in the vineyard for a year in the first year that he was working for Andy Beckstoffer. He knew how to work, he knew what the farm workers were feeling, and he also could adapt to modern, modern viticulture. Well, I think he's a careful farmer, and I think like, um, like any good farmer, he knows his tools, and he knows that he's not 100% in control, and he's uh, not just able to design a program, but he's able to respond to things as they, uh, as they happen. You go out with him, and you talk, and you listen, and he tastes the wines, and he comes back out in the vineyard, and you just see the quality go tick, 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 and it just goes up and up. I'll tell you this, he doesn't listen to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and for the better. And, and f yeah, and, yeah, and for the good. Uh, I'm thinking about 2011 when everybody's uh, crop tanked. And Mike, contrary to the popular belief that you should be pulling canopy, left canopy and it turned out to be one of our very best years. He just has tremendous character. Mm -hmm. it, 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 such strength and and conviction and he, he he loves what he does. There's a plaque actually that hangs above mm -hmm. his door that really speaks, sort of sums it up for Mike and on this hand carved pa plaque it says, I believe that the quotation is, um, it's incredible what you can achieve if you don't mm -hmm. care who gets the credit. And um, that really sums up how Mike has conducted himself in the industry and he's set an example through his work and his actions. I also think that Mike is particularly astute when it comes to working with winemakers. He's kind of got us pegged. <laughs> he's kind of one half farmer and he's one half psychologist. We had a, a rainy uh... Uh, harvest one time and so I always like to get helicopters out there to kind of dry it off and so you could tell that he wasn't all that uh, keen or thought it was going to do that much work but he's very gracious and it's like Bruce if you want to fly on the helicopters go right ahead and he, he will stay on the ground. I'll call him up on a busy busy harvest afternoon and you know he's been up since one and he's probably really tired. Oh, Mike, can we can we do some harvesting tomorrow and you know I'd like to bring in 15, 18 tons or whatever the number is and it, sometimes it's a pretty big number and the response always is how early would you like that delivered? Mike is um, very intelligent, he's always direct and always a gentleman. It was really a privilege and a joy to work with Mike. There's this huge trust and friendship and almost family, familial sort of relationship that comes with he and his clients that is unique to a lot of vineyard managers, I think, or vineyard management companies. I have uh, donkeys on site and we've had issues with goats in the past where all 57 of them got out and me and Sally, my dog, had to round them up and then I go out of town and Mike and Becky and uh, everyone runs about and gets all these goats back in the pasture. He's good at everything. His business is stellar and tight, top to bottom. Um, he's got this amazing group of people that are very loyal to him and he's treated them very well. You know, we have gotten notices, not requests, but notices. Look, in order to get quality people, we're raising the rates. Right. And that's that's important. He respects the people he works with and the land that he works on. Uh, I think Mike is a humble, below the radar type guy. And he finally gets the accolades, recognition, and credits that he so well deserved. He's a magic man. He really is. He really, really is. Well, Mike, I want to um, congratulate you on Grow of the Year. Um, I'm re reluctantly handing over my TR to you. If I had one, I would give it to you. Congratulations, Mike. You've come a long way, baby.
It's the highest honor that the grower um, community in Napa County can bestow upon one of our own. And there's no one more deserving than you, Mike, for, to receive this award. Congratulations, Mike. I am so happy to hear that you have become the Napa Valley Grape Growers Grower of the Year. I think you really deserve this award. It is uh, way overdue for all of us to say thank you for all that you've done for, for each of us as individuals and for the Valley as a whole. Uh, he has not quit, he's not run out on me, which I am so, so happy about. Uh, I, I couldn't afford it. Uh, Mike, thank you for putting up with uh, my crazy dogs, my donkeys, my goats. Congratulations, Congratulations Mike. Congratulations, Mike. No, that didn't work. No, no. let's all do it. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Mike. Who is this Mike person, anyway? Any anecdotes that I would like to share? Not that I want to share, no. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> or I have too many, I'm not sure which it is. No, some of it's sort of social and... It could be repeated here? <laughs> I don't think he, 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 he's not going to go for that, I don't.